वेलकम टू टिप्स ट्रेनिंग एंड सर्टिफिकेशन ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम नाउ वी विल स्टडी द स्कैटर डायग्राम एंड कोरिलेशन रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस इन सिक्स मैट ट्रेनिंग स्कैटर डायग्राम अ स्कैटर डायग्राम इज ए ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स इन क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट स्कैटर डायग्राम्स आर यूजली यूज to explore the cause and effect relationship in a diagnostic journey this is the scatter diagram represented here it establishes the correlation between these two variables that is x and y why to carry out correlation and regression analysis there is certain purpose the main purpose of this is to validate the relationship between dependent and independent variables identified during the pareto analysis and ishikawa diagram of analysis phase to predict the target variable for forecasting modeling the relation ship between x and y testing the hypothesis correlation coefficient pearson's correlation coefficient establishes the correlations that is strength between the two continuous variables statistically we can say change in one variable predicts the change in another the formula for the correlation coefficient is given here what is the interpretation of correlation coefficient correlation coefficient r is a unitless value it ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 closer to minus 1 represents stronger and negative uh, correlation closer to 1 represents stronger and positive correlation closer to 0 that is tends to 0 is the representation of weaker and no relationship This is the scatter diagram provided for different values of r. First graph represents r is equal to minus one, that is negative relationship, but it is a stronger one. R is equal to minus point six represents negative correlation ship, but it is weaker one. R is equal to plus one represents stronger and positive relationship r is equal to plus 0.3 represent positive but weaker correlation whereas r tends to zero represents no relationship or weaker relationship this is the example given for calculation of correlation in xyz thermal power station management wants to know the relationship between the ash percentage ash contents in coal and amount of electricity generation for that data is provided in this table how to calculate this correlation we will see here step 1 consider the data for electricity generation and percentage ash in coal second calculate the values x into y x square and y square here number of samples are 8 step 3 by putting the values in the formula sigma xy sigma xx and sigma yy respectively we will get the value sigma xy as minus 593.5 and sigma xx as 383.5 sigma yy 1557.5 now by putting these values in the correlation equation r is equal to sigma xy divided by square root of sigma xx into sigma yy we will get the value of r is equal to minus 0.768 which represents the strong but negative correlation ship between the ash contents in the coal and generated electricity 
regression equation what is this regression equation analysis or regression technique is the outcome to the continuous relation between the two variables in correlation two variables are treated as equal whereas in regression equation analysis one variable is considered as a independent that is predictor variable x and the other dependent that is outcome variable y there are different types of regression equation analysis the regressions are simple linear regression multiple linear regression curvilinear regression logistic regression and probabilistic regression what is linear regression it is a simple equation establishes the re relationship between y and x it is represented in terms of equation y is equal to bx plus a where y is the output that is a dependent variable a as a constant or intercept b or beta as slope of line and x is the input that, that is independent variable this is the representation of linear equation assumptions for carrying out the linear regressions we have to assume certain things these are the relation between the x and y is linear y is distributed normally at each value of x variance of y at every value of x is same that is homogeneous the observations are independent now we will study the method for simple linear regression equation first select the variables for which we have to carry out the access to the relations second select the number of samples larger the samples higher the accuracy in the results now measure the values of the parameters collect the data with respect to decided sample collection frequency now represent this data in the tabulated format by using the formula calculate the r value the values of sigma xy sigma xx sigma yy are computed using these formulas to find out the regression line we have to calculate value of a and value of b as follows b is given by this formula and a is calculated by using the formula y bar minus b x bar now by putting the values of this value uh, uh, sigma x y sigma x x sigma y y a and b we will get the equation y is equal to a plus b x now plot the graph using scatter diagram you can also plot the graph using excel sheet A regression analysis example is given here we are using same data which we have discussed in correlation equation step 1 consider the data electricity generation and percentage as contains in coal step 2 calculate the value of x into y x square and y square in this table step 3 by using the formulas of six sigma sigma xy sigma xx sigma yy step 4 by putting these values calculated you can calculate by using formula of a and b as b is equal to minus 1.547 and a is 76.66 step 5 thus by estimating the value of a and b by putting these values in the equation y is equal to a plus bx we will get the equation 76.66 minus 1.547x now plot the graph using scatter diagram it will be also useful through excel sheet 
scatter diagram is plotted using this data and we will get the equation y is equal to minus 1.5476x and plus 76.66 and r square value 0.5897. Thank you.